आई विल इलेबोरेट द परमानेंट मैग्नेट मूविंग कॉइल इंस्ट्रूमेंट पी एम एम सी नाउ सी द डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट आर द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज द पॉइंटर दिस वन विच इज पॉइंटिंग आउट द डिफरेंट वैल्यूज सो दैट वी कैन रीड इट देन पॉइंटर विच इज अटैच टू द ग्रीन पोर्शन दैट इज स्पिंडल स्पिंडल इज मेड ऑफ समवाट हार्ड मटेरियल एंड द पॉइंटर इज अटैच टू द स्पिंडल एंड स्पिंडल इज सपोर्टेड बाई द ज्वेल्ड बीरिंग्स दीज आर द बीरिंग्स दिस एंड दिस नाउ विद द बीरिंग the spindle is attached and one coil is attached to the spindle this coil is on the aluminum former as you are seeing so this coil is carrying the current and with the help of this current the force is exerted on the coil and the pointer is deflected certainly the force will be created by the permanent magnets also and the spring is giving us the control torque now we will go ahead and we'll see the working of the permanent magnet moving coil instrument now see here the force as i told you is exerted on the coil the force is bil and for the internal coil nbil <coughs> the deflecting torque is nbil into b b is the breadth of the coil the Controlling torque is proportional to the theta. Thus, Tc is equal to k theta, which is applied by the spring. And at balance condition, when the pointer is stationary, the deflecting torque is equal to the control torque. Thus, theta is proportional to current. And thus, the deflection is always proportional to the current applied or flowing in the coil. and with the current is ultimately proportional to the voltage thus pmmc instrument can be used for measurement of current as well as for voltage now we are switching to the advantages the first advantage is low power requirement second is uniform scale third one is high torque weight ratio fourth is no hysteresis loss not affected by stray magnetic fields range can be extended effective and efficient eddy current damping now we'll see the disadvantages of pmmc instruments these are costly as compared to moving iron instrument because in the iron instrument we are having moving iron and in this instrument we are having coil and it cannot be used for ac measurements it is used for only dc and errors may be introduced by aging of the spring and magnet okay thank you